afternoon, Set Free. I am Melissa Hunter, a member and volunteer at Set Free, coming to you today with Thursday Thought. I am so excited at the move of God here at Set Free. And I want to send a special thanks to Pastor Stephen A. Bowman for being obedient to the call of God on his life, for speaking this. I am just convinced that hell shook when he spoke that out of his mouth because God is answering through the anointing and the lineage that comes to his family. Thank you. And I know God is not done with you yet in Jesus holy name. I want to speak to you just for a second on the fire of God. Right now, we are in the middle of it. Right now, God is doing a new thing. And I thank him so much for his anointing that is enveloping, set free the members and the ones that will be touched throughout the community, this area, the nation. I want to come to you with a scripture first. My scripture comes from Luke 3, 16 and 17. This is when John was in the wilderness and he was speaking on one that would come that would uh, he would not be able to feel his sandals. One that come for the salvation of man, one to come restores to God. But he also said, whose fan is it in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into the garner. But the chafe he will burn with fire with and it will be unquenchable. Also, Jesus came with the Holy Ghost. He is anointed with fire. Let me tell you three things that the fire does. In the hands of the enemy, fire destroys. It can let go. It can be released. Fire can also be used as a weapon. So fire can destroy. But when God takes his fire, he puts his hand on it. Wonderful things happen. Number one, it consumes you. It consumes everything about you and things begin to change. Number two, the baptism. The baptism is a cleansing also, a purifying of the fire. Number three, it separates. There's things you got to let go. There's sins that come out of your life. And the one that blessed me so much in the fire, if you look, I think Exodus was the first time that we see God dwell with the children of Israel when he freed them out of slavery. But ain't it just like God to free you from something and say, you know what? I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to dwell with you. He dwells in the midst of the fire, which some of us know as the Shekinah glory. The Shekinah glory means to dwell among us. I thank God so much for what he is doing because the fire of God, the fire in his hand renews, restores, rejuvenates. It brings back. It brings miracles upon his people. I thank him for the move and I thank him for what he is doing amongst his people. Right now, Set Free is experiencing the fire of God. You come and if you hear the testimonies, you hear the, the good reports that are coming from all the different ministries that are coming. That shows that God is dwelling amongst his people. God is doing a new thing. So I'm going to say this. Things that we lose in the fire only can be gained when it's put in God's hands. And I thank him. And this is just a little thought to throw out there with you. Your loss is not a loss when it's in God's hands. Thank you and have a blessed day.